I'm now joined by Satyan Singhani, CEO of Elation, along with Mark Rind, CTO of Data at Pfizer. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Happy to be here, Ryan. Thank you. Love being back. Thank you for having us. Satyan, welcome back. The Elation data intelligence platform is used across industries and relied upon by more than 550 enterprises, including 40% of the Fortune 100. What's the data showing you, Satyan, and are any trends emerging? There are two obvious trends going on in the world today. The first is obviously AI. Everybody's talking about it. There's massive pressure to do something. Folks have consistent pressure, like Mark does, from their boards to be able to demonstrate value. But on the other hand, you've got this countervailing pressure, which is that there is a lot of pressure on IT budgets. How do we know we're spending the right money? How do we know that we're getting value for what it is that we've got? So what we do, is we basically help customers navigate that confusion. We give them data so that they can make the right bets. And so what the data is telling us is that our customers want more data about their data. What business use cases can people satisfy? What data sets are the most important? Where can they add more value? They have to make decisions and we help them make those decisions. Thank you for that perspective, Satyan, and it's great to be joined by an Alation customer with Fiserv. Mark, as the CTO of data at Fiserv, your aspiration is to move money and information in a way that moves the world. How does a robust data strategy allow you to do just that, and what role does Alation play in that process? Fiserv, through all of its customers, clients, has one of the most unique data assets in the world from a financial perspective. Um, data from merchant, merchant acquiring, card issuing, our financial institutions. Um, that is a ton of data uh, that with Snowflake we're pulling all together to enable sharing and to building a lot of the AI capabilities, but also just an understanding of the data is critical for that to be successful. Uh, sharing that data across our entire enterprise would not be possible unless we understood where that data came from and the purpose of why it's there in the first place. Alation helps us understand and catalog all of that data so that whether it's across business units or even out to our own customers, um, they can understand and trust that the data that they're using um, is the data that they expect it to be. Thank you for that, Mark. As we can see, the AI Data Cloud ecosystem is all around us here at Snowflake Summit. How did this allow Alation and Fiserv to drive impact on a daily basis? Satyan, let's start with you. Well, as I mentioned earlier, if you think about a company like Fiserv, massively complex, tons of data, tons of complexity both for its own operations, for its customer operations, and so how do you navigate this massive complexity? You need information about your data. You need to know who's using what. You need to know which data sets are important. And so what Alation does is when we partner with a customer like Fiserv, we're really giving them the insight and the information to be able to know which data sets to be able to manage. And that telemetry, that insight, that AI that gives them the ability to be able to say, look, this data here, not so important. This data here, absolutely critical. This use case, maybe we'll get to it later, but this one, we got to get to it right now. Those decisions are the decisions that data management professionals have to make every day, but are mostly doing flying blind. We're all trying to get our data houses in order, but it's really hard to do without any insight, and that's what we provide. Great to hear Satyan and Mark from your perspective. I think you said it perfectly, getting our data houses in order, um, critical for um, any business enterprise moving forward in this data-driven world. And I see from our end two really important critical roles that the data and the data cataloging with Alation plays for us. One is as we pull that data together, our ability to innovate, right? Our ability across the enterprise for anyone that has an idea that needs to get at data to build their concepts can with an understanding and trust of that data, that's one. And second, when that finally sees the light of day in production, from a compliance standpoint, from an understanding what was used to feed this product, this AI, this machine learning model, whatever that is, it's critical to have that so that we can roll it out to production with the trust that Fiserv would want to have for its clients around its data. Great to hear, Mark. Sticking with present day, Satya and Ahiralation made an excited announcement at Snowflake Summit about helping customers improve data quality. Can you tell us a little bit more about this announcement? Yeah, so Snowflake obviously has Horizon. Horizon allows customers of Snowflake to help govern their Snowflake data estate. 
Now, the biggest question, of course, if you want to get your data AI ready, if you want to be able to govern that AI because you want to make sure that it has trusted outcomes that your employees and your customers can rely upon, you've got to have high quality data. And so being able to find and discover your data is one step. Being able to assure that that data is high quality is what Horizon and Alation are doing together. So our integration today basically allows us to take the data quality signals and the metric signals that come out of Horizon and push them into Alation so a customer like Fiserv doesn't have to go through seven different planes of glass to get to the same outcome of trusting their data. Ease of use. Ease of use, but the ease of use is the difference between actually getting to a use case and not getting to it at all. Great to hear, Sadden. Congratulations and exciting next chapter. Gentlemen, before we wrap, I'm so glad you both have mentioned AI. It's clearly top of mind across the board. Mark, could you please lead us off by explaining how you are integrating AI into your business strategy to ensure its long-term success and how is Alation helping with that process? I, I think that the way that we are leveraging AI, AI models come and go and they're improving every couple days, right? Um, that's going to continue to grow. It matters about the data, right, that it's using, that it's leveraging. Uh, we're using AI to make it simpler for our clients to traverse their own data, um, to very simply get the answers that they need um, in a context of a massive amount of data that can provide background or point them in a direction compared to aggregated data sets. So, it's really leveraging Fiserv's data advantage across all of its business units connected together um, to allow for the AI to, AI becomes the new UI, which I, right. I've heard, um, you know, I've mentioned a few times, which I agree with, but it, it's critical for all of that to tie together with that trust factor so that we can build what we want to and having a partner like Alation to help us with the cataloging and the understanding and the trust in that data is a key part to all of it. Great to hear, thank you, Mark. And Sachi, and from your perspective, we would love to hear how Alation is helping organizations deliver AI-ready data. Yeah, so LLMs and the world of sort of AI or generative AI as we understand it mostly operates on two bases. The first is unstructured data primarily, and secondly, it's operating on a predictive stochastic basis. And then we've got the world of structured data. And the question is, how do those two things talk to each other? How do those two things meet? And so when you get an innovative customer like Fiserv, what they're doing is they're taking all of the context, all of the information about their structured data, and they're feeding it to these unstructured models to help people use the LLMs to better understand their structured data state. And so when I think about the world of AI, I think about all of that rich context that we have to basically take all this transactional information, all this customer information, and bring it to life in a high fidelity way to make LLMs actually work. There's a lot of studies that say, look, if you put LLMs on top of SQL, it doesn't actually work all that well. The difference between it working well and not working at all is that context, and that is what we provide. Well, gentlemen, I realize we've covered a lot. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now here at Snowflake Summit. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Ryan. Great Thank to you. be here, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.